In 2010 through 2011, El Rio Bogota overflowed, causing one of the worst emergencies in its history. Hundreds of deaths, more than half a million homeless. Bogota once again suffers from the consequences of heavy rains. 10,000 people remain homeless due to the flooding. These images of the emergency caused by the flooding reveal the magnitude of the human and environmental tragedy. A consequence of excessive sediment in the river that made it impossible to contain the waters from the heavy rain. The Rio Bogota therefore overflowed, reclaiming its old floodplain that had been dried out and occupied by men for agriculture, livestock activities and urban projects. Another factor that caused the river to overflow was the large amount of trash. Is the river a source of life or a trash dump? Since the capital was founded hundreds of years ago by the Choro de Quevedo, its inhabitants have been contaminating the river and the tributaries that flow into it. With the passage of time, the establishment of new municipalities and industrial growth, the toxicity of its waters continued to increase. However, as it passes through the capital, the river receives the heaviest load of pollution produced by 8 million people in Bogota. Domestic wastewaters account for 80% of the contamination. Industries, mining and debris account for 20%. The river, at its source, is suitable for human consumption at level 1 and begins to degrade until reaching level 4 at the Calle Ochenta. The river receives its first pollution load from the capital through the discharge of the Rio Salitra. This immediately raises it to level 8, totally polluted, a condition that is maintained with the discharge of the Rio Fucha in the Calle Trece and the Rio Tunuelo in Socha. These tributaries also deposit into the Rio Bogota the trash thrown into the streets that are collected by city sewers during rain periods. These tributaries behave like huge tubes that carry solid waste bags, plastic bottles, styrofoam that are slow to degrade, and tons of cigarette butts, tires and everything that is thrown down the drains and toilets such as condoms, disposable diapers, cooking oil, detergents and fats. All this contributes to the fact that the Rio Bogota is a dead river. It runs slowly with no microbiotic flora or fauna and without oxygen, making impossible to sustain life. In February 2013, the Environmental Authority for the Bogota River CAR started a comprehensive urban river restoration project which focuses on a 68-kilometer stretch of the Bogota River, Middle Basin, to revive the river's ecosystem and reduce flood risk. El proyecto pretende mitigar de manera definitiva el riesgo de inundaciones en la cuenca media del río Bogotá de una parte y de otra parte eh, contribuir con la descontaminación del río. En relación con la adecuación hidráulica, estamos ya adelantando la primera fase desde el sector conocido como Alicachina hasta la calle 13, una segunda fase irá de calle 13 a calle 80 y una tercera de calle 80 a la vía Subacota, sector conocido como Puente de la Virgen. The project objective is to transform the Rio Bogota into an environmental asset for the Bogota metropolitan region by improving water quality, reducing flood risk, restoring riparian habitats, and creating multifunctional areas along the river that provide ecological habitat, public use, and enjoyment of an urban river. En este momento la ciudad le está dando la espalda al río. Con la construcción de este parque longitudinal queremos es que la comunidad tenga un sitio de esparcimiento y donde pueda estar al lado de un río limpio. Se van a sembrar cerca de 150, 160 mil árboles en unas 50, 60 especies nativas. Estamos dragando el cauce del río en algunos sitios con una profundidad de hasta 8 metros. Estamos ampliando también el cauce que hoy tiene un promedio de 30 metros de ancho para llevarlo a 60 metros, construyendo unos taludes marginales o jarillones. To carry out the work, it was necessary to conduct a land acquisition and resettlement process to improve the path of the river 
and re-establish the natural flooding areas. El Banco Mundial participa con una operación de préstamo que tiene dos componentes. El primero y por el que nos identifican recursos, en este caso 250 millones de dólares para un préstamo a la CAF. Y el segundo, en nuestro concepto el más importante, la asistencia técnica. El segundo componente de este proyecto, que es la ampliación y optimización de la planta de tratamiento de aguas residuales del salitre, con una inversión que está alrededor de los 400 millones de dólares. Hay que tener en cuenta que Bogotá está hoy virtiendo cerca de 20 metros cúbicos por segundo de aguas residuales, de los cuales tan solo se están tratando cuatro en la planta del salitre. Eh, será necesario que Bogotá construya esa segunda planta, que correspondería a la planta localizada en el sector de Canoas. The contract will be carried out by FCC Constructions. Para nosotros es muy importante esta actuación. FCC Colombia forma parte de un grupo denominado FCC Servicios Ciudadanos, donde nuestra vocación es mejorar el bienestar y la calidad de las personas, los últimos beneficiarios de actuaciones como esta. The environmental recuperation and flood control of the Rio Bogotá in the Middle Basin is a dream that the corporation is making a reality. These works are the initial part of the payment of an old environmental debt with the river. Its total recovery is the responsibility of everyone. The companies, institutions, national government, mayor's offices and every one of the city's inhabitants. Quieran el río, que lo respeten que no boten las basuras como las estamos viendo en este momento. The dream of seeing the Rio Bogota clean, alive with controlled flooding is possible. The hope is real. But everyone, without exception, has to act to guarantee the survival of life in all its forms.